In this video, I've sold the Skoda, which is immediately broken. Hubnut, sponsored by Lancaster Insurance. I shall demonstrate what's broken. Hear that? That's meant to be the rear wiper. But, um... It doesn't work anymore, which is irritating. This is far from an unusual occurrence on the Skoda Favre and even the Felicia. Um, the gears in the motor break up and stop working. So um, I'm gonna have to do something about that, namely replace the gears. Bah. Right, we have the Haynes manual. That shows the motor and how it's all attached. There's a spindle. Um, so there should be mounting nuts on the outside somewhere. As you can see, there's an earth wire. Hmm. It can't be that. How strange. Maybe it is just that one. This is also the earth cable, by the look of it. Before we get too carried away, we need to remove the wiper. Oh, oh! There we go. That's spinning. Still the spanner in there at the moment. Still got my noisy struts going on. Ah, getting these things free can sometimes be a bit of a challenge, especially with um, one hand. Just put the nut in there. Because wiper arms don't get removed very often, so they have a nasty habit of not wanting to come off. Uh, I think I shall try and leave her under there with a suitable device. Maybe that is a suitable device. Try and not damage the paintwork. Here's the thing, let's take the socket off. Gosh, I might need to get the old penetrating oil out here. Oh no, there we go. I can see that's come loose now. There we go. A jiggle and it's away. Gosh, it's, it's like having a poorly whale. Oh, there we go. We've got another nut underneath. Joy. I will need a bigger socket to get that um, blooming thing off. Good grief. Right, I'm having to wear gloves because all this got waxed when um, the car went in for its treatment. Uh, there we go. Right. How do I disconnect those wires? Hmm, that's going to be fun. Oh, I see. Connect the plug just there. Let's do that then. Two screws, I think. And um, yeah, I'm going to have to do that with both hands. Nope, not in this bit. That's the uh, motor itself. So the problem must be in this section with the gears. So we'll put that back together again. Let's see what's under this cover then. There we go. Now what's broken? It's hard to tell with all this grease. I think I might take this down to the bench so we can have a better look at what's going on. Right, well we've taken the whole motor apart, uh, bits everywhere, lots of thick sticky grease and um, I found the problem, it's um, this cog. Uh, it's very difficult to see but you might just see that. Oh there we go, there's a bit of focus. You can see the tram line effectively running through, you can see the bent teeth. So, no longer engaging in the manner in which it should. Uh, I don't think there's much we can do about that. I can't just move the gear around because there's different linkages and stuff. So it only has that one set position. So I shall have to wait for Mrs. Hubnut to get back from a rescue mission. There's a 
chap called Martin who has been gently donating all manner of um, Skoda bits, the badge, and um, I've replaced the grill on the bonnet so it actually now fits. And um, yeah, now we're all good. So it's this metal gear here which engages with this big one there and that's why it's got damaged. Um, a notorious weak point on these wiper motors unfortunately. So hopefully um, the wiper motor that is being fetched, I don't think it'll fit necessarily as a straight swap, but at the very least I can um, raid it for bits and hopefully the cog will be in better condition. And hopefully that means we can then get the rear wiper working again, which would be nice. This is meant to be a video about the Fox, but as we can't get the engine in, um, I need to go and borrow an engine hoist, which um, means, oh, mm, apparently that's not going to work. Oh, there we go. Means getting these seats out. And um, uh, I think we need that seat belt out of there. Thank you, car. Yeah, like it should just lift out. Maybe it just needs to go over that way slightly to come out. Hmm. Let's, let's see. It looks like you should be able to get that seat out without any effort at all. But so there's a pin in there. Um, it's not going to go that way though. Maybe that one needs to come out first. Okay, so it's a shame we've got so much rubbish in here. Like that. Seat goes down, seat goes that way, aha, and uh, should go that way. Why did the door open? Hmm. Yeah, you get the tilt angle right, you can just pull the entire rear seats out. Which is good, because we've got to try and get an engine hoist in the back of this car. And that gives me a bit more room to play with. Now I've got to empty everything else out. It's another day in paradise. Gorgeous sunshine this morning. Um, now have a second motor. Different wiring. So it can't be a straight swap. And it's reckoned the motor's duff on this one anyway. But hopefully the gear is, will be alright. Uh, so hopefully we can get that sorted and then concentrate on trying to get that engine in that fox there we go that's the other cog out does seem to be in better condition uh, now what we've got to do is assemble it into the old gearbox which is rather caked full of old grease but I'm going to assume that's a good thing I wish I'd taken photos now. Right, we've got the new gear in. We shall um, reassemble, fit the um, motor back together and uh, see if it works. Right, we've got the wiper refitted. Question is, does it work? Give it a go. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be a lot happening there, does it? Right, I've now tightened the earth cable up. Let's see if it works this time. No. Exactly the same issue we had before. Ugh! So there we go. That's um, 
unsatisfactory is I think the word um, we have not fixed the rear wiper on the Skoda I think it's going to need a new motor so um, I think all I can do is um, offer a discount to the new um, buyer of the car and um, curse my luck but just before I sell the car the rear wiper packs up anyway I've got oil on my face I need to get back to Project Fox so thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe before you go and I shall see you in a future video, hopefully with more success. Farewell.